This is April Schulteis. Mormonism is a cult. I didn't know and I tried to leave. My Mormon parents, Carl and Ruby Schulteis, put a hit out on me. I was intentionally exposed to COVID by Jason Bush at Fresno State. The entire campus was in on the kill, including the union. They cut my sick pay, my benefits, and blocked my 403b funds. I still don't have my CalPERS retirement. They're calling it a botched kill. I was supposed to be easy sport for the psychopaths at Fresno State. I am not receiving help. They decided I would die before Thanksgiving. Mormons use hypnosis to attack their victims. The use of hypnosis is widespread. It is being used against people who don't even know it. This information is true. People are willing to kill to keep it quiet. I am being murdered. I've been trying to warn people. I'm being killed for it. I contacted three law firms in America for help, and still I don't have my retirement. This is intentional. This is not normal at all. They want me dead. Why would they want me dead for leaving Mormonism and warning people about how the science of the mind is being used to kill, steal, and destroy? Why do they still want me dead? I'm telling people they have to keep all of God's commandments and that God said they could. I'm telling people to stop participating in Satan's system. I'm telling people to practice sexual purity by abstaining from sex and not to eat meat. I'm telling people to study the Bible. I'm telling people to respect all life that our Creator created. Why is this a threat? The information I have been posting is dangerous to people who are in power. It's not just the Mormons, it's also others. Mormons are connected to others in power who also want me to shut up. They're willing to kill to keep it quiet. If you care about your future, stop participating in the system that controls and owns you right now. Practice psychic self-defense. Do not have sex. Do not have meat. Read the Bible. Respect all life. The Bible says, How oft is the candle of the wicked put out, and how oft cometh their destruction upon them. God distributeth sorrows in his anger. They are as stubble before the wind, and as chaff that the storm carrieth away. God layeth up his iniquity for his children. He rewardeth him, and he shall know it. His eyes shall see his destruction, and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. These people are wicked. They are breaking God's laws. Their candle needs to be put out.